Jesus Christ himself is the head of the church, his body on earth. He did not appoint other leaders on earth to guide his church. He himself, by his spirit, leads those who belong to him and have received his Holy Spirit, who listen to him and who follow him. He called his disciples and he called us to be his witnesses, to make disciples of him, who listen to his voice and who follow him. Religious leaders have appointed themselves. They are impostors, fakes. They are antichrist. They sit in the place of God and they rule as God. Instead of taking people to Jesus Christ, they do not know the Lord Jesus Christ themselves, but they deceive people into following them and their doctrines, building their kingdoms on earth. You become like the one whom you follow. If you follow after religious leaders, then you become like them and you end up where they end up. They end up in hell. A disciple of Jesus Christ follows his master, Jesus Christ himself. Nobody else. He said, my sheep listen to my voice and they follow me. They will not go after strangers because they do not know the voice of strangers. The problem is that most believers do not know Jesus, and they're not following Jesus, they are following after men. Jesus Christ himself calls his servants, and he teaches them, and he sends them out to bear fruit, to do his work. He calls them as apostles, preachers, teachers, evangelists, and he appoints and sends them out to go and bear fruit, to build up the body of Christ. But they are not leaders. They are servants. And they report to Jesus Christ, not to a church. They are not servants of man. They are servants of God. But they are not leaders. One is our leader, Jesus Christ himself. Do not follow after people. Follow after Jesus Christ himself. One is our leader, even Jesus Christ himself. If you do not know his voice, get down on your knees and seek him with all your heart. Cry out to him until you know him, until you know his voice, and then you listen to his voice and not to others. You follow Jesus Christ and you live to please him, not to please men. His sheep listen to his voice and they follow him. Are you following Jesus or are you following after men?